Hi, my name is Keith and I'm known as a Florida Stone Man and today I'm going to talk to you all about spiritual invisibility and what it really is. Spiritual invisibility is not commonly talked about. Not many people know about it. People think Some people think it's a joke, some people actually know about it and don't really share their secret. In this video I'm going to talk to you all about what I do to practice spiritual invisibility. So it's not Hogwarts, it's not you throw a cloak over yourself and you make yourself invisible, but it is pretty pretty close to it. So basically, uh, spiritual invisibility is, no, you can't turn truly invisible. You can camouflage, but that's on a, uh, you, you're not gonna wear all camo here. So basically, speaking of camo, uh, I got new picture Jasper, but <laughs> no, that's not what it is. You don't cover yourself with camo and now you're invisible. There are a few laws to physics. There's a few spiritual laws as well. But basically, when you don't when you shut something out, when you don't consent to its energy, when you don't give it any light or any attention, then that's removed from your world and that is also removed from their world. So the thing is, if you have someone you don't want even seeing you at all, if you don't if if, if you have someone who you don't want recognizing you, if you don't want to be seen, if you don't want to be just even noticed, you can do that and you can do it on command as well. It takes a lot of practice and it takes a lot of focus, but it is possible. I do this all the time. I do it at the gym. I do it in certain places in public when I don't feel like being uh, noticed. Basically, there's a few ways you can do it. So I'll walk past someone. They will not see me if I don't want them to see me. They won't see my face if they don't if I don't want them to see my face. They won't see any of my jewelry if I don't want them seeing my jewelry. The thing is, it's all about focus, concentration, and the connection. So you are very, so let's just say everyone is at a very high frequency. It basically mutes your frequency so that person cannot detect your frequency. Kind of like when you put a, uh, well, that's a bad example. <laughs> Uh, let me skip that example. Uh, let's just say when you uh, are, when you're driving, you can have a very loud engine. You can make it very loud or you can make it like a Tesla, like woo, 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 and it's very quiet. Kind of like that. That's an okay an example. I'll have to find more examples later. But the thing with spiritual invisibility is there's a few ways to do it. You're going to need help from your guides. You're not going to do it 100% alone. You're, you can also use crystals and stones and different roots and herbs as well, but it depends what you're trying to be invisible from. So if you're trying to be invisible from people who are your enemies, a crystal like bloodstone is very powerful. Bloodstone, even the Romans and the Egyptians used to wear it, it cloaks your aura, it cloaks your energy. It makes you so that if you have an enemy, you're going to basically bypass all the enemy or if the person is directing negative energy towards you, it's gonna completely make you invisible from that person as long as you don't focus on that person. You forget about them because you can't be invisible and making yourself known. That's not a thing, that's not going to happen. You can't be basically popping out of inv invisibility being like, oh yeah, and you're just taunting the person. How invisibility and spirituality works is that you mute yourself. That means you're not going to be messaging the person, talking to them. When you see them in public, you're not gonna make eye contact with them and you're going to be invisible. Normally when you see the person or the person would see you, they would recognize you, they would see you. But when you when you ask to make yourself invisible to your guides, when you program the crystal to make yourself invisible, now the person will walk past you and might not see you. The person will just not even perceive you unless you are wanting them to perceive you, which is you'll be making eye contact. You'll just be wanting to be recognized. So this is a practice. It does take practice. Not many people do know about this. I, in the gym, I, there are certain people I don't want to talk to, not to be offensive, but some people will talk to you for about an hour and you only work out for 15 minutes. So I will ask my guide, I will ask my crystals. I'll say, make me invisible, please. Please cloak my aura. Please stealth me past this person, please. And it works just like a video game. It works just like a movie, but you're not turning invisible. Your skin's not turning invisible. You're not covered in camouflage. Person doesn't even recognize me. I slide right past them. I'm like, okay, thank you. Same thing with that. 
If there's someone who is uh, basically constantly harassing you or stalking you, you can make your aura invisible from them as well. It's basically telling the universe that you don't consent to their energy. You don't consent to them basically wanting your energy. You're hitting the decline button. You're hitting the red button. You're hitting the, the no button. A lot of problems that people have that I teach who use uh, this, these invis invisibility techniques, the biggest problem is they'll turn around at the person, they'll say something, uh, they'll basically want to try and get attention. Like they have a stalker or they have an ex and they're so sick of the ex or so st sick of the stalker, but you're still hitting them up. That's not how invisibility works. <laughs> Don't If you have a stalker, why are you messaging the stalker at first and why are you messaging them back? That's not how it's going to work. If you think it's going to work like that, you are contradicting what your goal is. So another thing you can do as well is you can use tiger's eye. If you see this, it has constant shades. I know this. This is a weird little thing. I remember the first time uh, I started figuring this out gradually. When I have uh, on customer reviews for customers who I ask to take pictures of their tiger eye on their wrists, on them, when they go to take the picture, something always happens. Uh, maybe their ears will start ringing, uh, like the picture will get messed up, it'll just not save in the phone. Tiger Eye has a magic of stealth on camera specifically, so especially if you're someplace under a camera, then you're, or under a camera, being taken a picture of, it's gonna help you, uh, basically somehow bypass that. Blue Tiger Eye in specific helps you catch people taking pictures of you, and Tiger Eye can do this as well, but more so Blue Tiger Eye. So one thing, like even, I mean, I'm okay with people taking pictures of me. People will take pictures just because I'm wearing a bunch of crystals. I wear them all the way from my feet to my, to my neck, soon the head. But uh, blue tiger eye, which is Hawkeye, not dye tiger eye, will have you seeing things so far ahead of time that you just kind of shock and scare people. That is a really cool uh, crystal, especially like I'm in public, uh, let's just say I'm in Starbucks and someone's taking a picture. I'll turn around and I'll catch them right when they're taking the picture and I'm usually smiling and they'll look at the picture in the camera roll and be like, and I'm like, okay, I would have I would have been happy to take this picture. I'm pretty sure I said this in another video as well, but it's good for you guys to know. Uh, but basically, Tiger Eye is a wonderful stealth against people who are surveillancing you, people who are uh, wanting to take pictures of you, people who don't have your consent, because there are people in the gym as well who take pictures of other people and it happens more often than it doesn't. Like, you would not think it's a thing, but especially some of the, uh, depends on where you live. I'm not gonna say it's a certain category of people at all in this video, but another way you can make yourself invisible is get close to your guardian angel, get close to your ancestor or guide, and ask them to sheath your aura. Especially, you can do this, uh, when it comes to people trying to read you. So people cannot read you if you don't consent to their energy and you don't let them. That's that. They'll get a reading back that's completely crazy, especially when you use rainbow fluorite. So you can use rainbow fluorite to basically fog your aura, make you completely just submerge your entire energy field. You can use this by your windows. You can use this just on you. You can wear it. But one thing I notice is when I'm wearing rainbow fluorite and I there's just random people and like I'm, I live in Florida so people will try to like read you sometimes on the street they'll say the most just come they don't okay first of all they're not supposed to read you without your permission that's a big no no number two they'll come up with the craziest things I remember way back then I had people try to read me and I had rainbow fluorite on and they said they were coming up with the most inaccurate things ever I'm just like. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, yeah, you're really right about that, and I'm just, the thing about rainbow fluorite is it will fog your aura, it will just, they won't get a right reading if they tried, because it's your energy, they're reading your energy, if you don't consent to it, on top of programming rainbow fluorite, because just think of all the lines that go through, through rainbow fluorite, that's how many lines they're going to hit and not, not get it right still, because it cloaks your aura, it blocks them trying to read you. But that's just a few ways you can make yourself invisible. You don't need any tools. You can just have a guide help you. Uh, you can use your own energy field as well. Be, just visualize yourself as completely invisible or just not notice them at all. And you cannot try to notice them when you walk past them. That's not how it's going to work. This works 100% of the time for me. It works like magic. 
It really does. I'm teaching other people so they can get in the habit of practicing this so there's more people practicing spiritual invisibility. If you don't want to be seen by someone and you truly deny their energy, not hit them up, not look at them, not just completely want to be invisible from the person, you're going to be invisible from the person. That's it. That's how spiritual invisibility, invisibility works. You can make yourself invisible with your own energy field, with the help of your spirit guides, with the help of your angels, with the help of certain crystals. It's a lot easier than it sounds. Give it a shot. This is really effective. It takes some practice because whoever told you in school that you can turn invisible? Like, like I said, this isn't Harry Potter. You're not throwing a cloak over you becoming invisible. This makes you very low on the radar. I remember, oh, this is another good example. I've had classes in college where I felt like I was in a like GTA video game because of how easily I snuck, snuck past people to get in the class. I had a horse riding class in college. Oh, I hope none of the people from that class watch me. And I would, like, it was based on attendance as well. A college class based on attendance. So I would use this technique to sneak in class because that location took a very long time for me to drive out to and I would get lost sometimes because it's just going straight down different roads and it was in the country. So I would be late sometimes and especially since it was 30 minutes away and it was just nothing but traffic on the way there. So I would cloak my aura and sneak into the class. One time I hopped the fence and I hopped over the fence and I just kind of snuck up behind the professor. Just I did it jokingly to see if anyone would notice. No one noticed. And I was there and they're just, it's like 15 minutes into the class and I'm just like, no one even noticed. I, I snuck in, I snuck in behind the professor like uh, an assassin. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Might sound completely crazy to some people watching this video. If you don't try it, uh, you you definitely have to try it. Just focus on trying it. If you have problems with this this exercise or any kind of cloaking or aura or turning invisible, it works just like I say it does. It's very easy. Don't overthink it. Don't re-establish an energetic connection. This is really simple. I, I really just assume that everyone knows about it, but I made this video so that other people may get the knowledge and enlightenment out of being able to cloak your aura. So if you have any questions, like I said, ask them in the comments. Don't overthink it. This is ridiculously easy. Most people don't, don't even want other people knowing this, but now you have the knowledge. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.